So when I first figured out and heard that they're going to be making a primed variant of the Ballistica, I was a little bit worried, simply because I'm a huge fan of the Rockta Ballistica, and I didn't want it to be too much better than the Rockta Ballistica, but of course I wanted it to be, you know, pretty decent, because it is the primed version. But now that I have the weapon actually in my hands and I've been using it, I have to say I'm more than excited to be using it. How's it going guys? My name is MCINK or CJ. Welcome back to Warframe. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Ballistica Prime. Today we're going to go over how to get it, what the stats are, and kind of test it out in the simulation room against some high level enemies. But yes, hope you guys do enjoy. If you do, feel free to leave a like down below, that'd be awesome. But other than that, let's hop right into this. So this is the Ballistica Prime. So we'll start with the relics and how you can actually get the parts to build the Ballistica Prime. So, you're going to need quite a few parts for this thing. It, it comes with quite a few parts. You're going to need the lower limb, the upper limb, the string, and the receiver. So yeah, quite a few parts. Not to mention you'll need a blueprint to actually build all these parts together. So all these parts can be obtained on relics and doing relic missions. So, the relics that will be dropping these parts are the following. The blueprint for the Ballistica Prime will be obtained on a Lith B2 Rare Relic. So, Liths aren't that hard to find, but a B2 might be a little bit more challenging, so I recommend you guys go on some mid-game levels, like a defense or interception, you should come across this. The lower limb will be obtained on an Axie V6 common relic, so it's going to be an Axie relic, which will be a little bit hard to find, but thankfully it is a common relic, so not too bad. So a V6 for the Axie relic, you, you do a couple missions, you shouldn't have too many problems with that. As for the upper limb, it'll be obtained on a Lith T1 uncommon. This is going to be a pretty easy one to come by, I have quite a few of these T1 Lith relics. so. Just do some lower end missions and then just scale up and you should be good. As for the string, it will be obtained on a Miso G1 Uncommon Relic. Uh, another another pretty common, honestly in my opinion, pretty common relic. I come across these all the time. G1s, they're not that bad. They're not that hard to find really. Last but not least, the receiver will be obtained on a Neo S7 Uncommon Relic. After this, all you need are the parts, some Moroccan cells, and you're good to go. So before we start yapping about the stats and talking about how it's better than the, the Ballistica or the Rockta Ballistica, let's talk about a couple special mechanics that this thing actually has to offer. So unlike the Rockta Ballistica and the Ballistica, the Ballistica Prime is more similar and relatable to an actual bow like the Paris or the Dread. Reason being, you can actually shoot off uh, shots that are not charged 100% or you can just uh, hip fire without even charging at all but if you do so choose to charge up your shots it, the damage will be doubled and also you will have a 1.0 meter punch through which is pretty nice not to mention you can also kind of create yourself a little ghost army with this weapon so if you kill an enemy with a fully charged shot it will turn into a ghost as long as it's 50 meters away from you and that ghost will last seven seconds and it will just start attacking any enemy around it. So yeah, I'm sure they can be pretty useful. I can see that being pretty damn useful. I think it's kind of cool. All right, without further ado, let's take a look at the stats. We're going to compare them a little bit to the Rock the Ballistica. I would compare them to the original Ballistica. There's really no point because most players have the Rock the Ballistica. In fact, I don't really know many that actually even use just the Ballistica. So might as well compare the one that's a little bit better than the other one. So this is the Rock the Ballistica. So now we are going to go switch over and compare the two together. So here is the Ballistica Prime. First, first off, I just want to say... The Ballistic Prime is so much bigger than the original. Look at this. Look how big it is. This is ridiculous. But, I mean, by any means, that that is not bad at all. By any means. Bigger is always better, as you guys know. And not to mention, it looks absolutely stunning. It looks just, It looks phenomenal. It looks great. So, as you can see, it's just green all across the charts here, to be honest. It, there's n absolutely no downgrades except for the puncture, which of course is compensated over for the slash. So, we'll talk about the very first one. The one that I'm pretty happy about is the reload speed and the charge rate. The charge rate has gone down from 1 second to 0.80 seconds, and the reload has gone from 2 seconds to 1.2 seconds. It is insane. The magazine is pretty, pretty fairly big too. It actually, it's 32. So with a 32 magazine and only a 1.2 re reload speed, like that is ridiculous. Not to mention this thing has a 2.0 critical multiplier and a 20% critical chance. And on top of that, it has a 20% status chance. So this is just going to be another one of those hybrid weapons where it has good status and good crits. You can build for both and you can get basically both of the jobs done at the same time. Yeah, other than that, they've increased the impact by just 0.2, which is a little odd. I don't know why they changed that. And the slash has been increased from 15 to 121. And then, of course, the puncture has been taken down just a little bit. So heading over to the modding now, I'm going to show you guys this. Look at this. So we have two V polarities at base and a, and a dash. We, at the very beginning, don't worry about this middle one. I added this later on. See, I had put a formal on. But basically, at base, you come with two V polarities and a dash. That is just crazy. That's great. 
So here is the build that I have for it's nothing insanely good. I thought I'd just go for a crit and status build and I kind of did both of those. So we have Hornet Strike, Barrel Diffusion, Lethal Torrent, our main damage mods that we have down here. Uh, pistol Gambit and Target Cracker and then we have some uh, electricity damage for more electric damage and then we have Jolt and Pistol Pestilence and I know I could have probably uh, formed this and turned this into a V polarity to add another dual element stat mod to get the status up which I probably and I might end up just doing that anyway so yeah we have a 75% status chance we have a 54% critical chance with 3.2 multiplier Fire rate is at 533 because of the lethal torrent. Overall, I am pretty damn happy with it. The corrosive is 5,000, slash is 1,000, puncture is 1,500. So yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty damn good for one forma. It, it does a lot of damage. So I haven't done really any stress testing in the simulation room yet. So I am as just as curious as you guys are. I don't know. The weapon hasn't been out for too long. So I kind of want to see how it, it does against high level units. Like in this case, the heavy gunner, which is going to be level 135. So I'm excited. I hope you are as well. Um, fit, creating fake positivity since 2016. So here we go. We're going to try it out. We're going to start off with the, uh, the non-charge attack. So we'll just see how this goes. I don't know. Oh. Ooh, look at that reload. Look at that reload. Oh, ooh, that. Ooh, wow. Spicy. Yeah, I had a feeling it's gonna be a little bit slower, just simply because. Um, that's about the same, actually. No, it's definitely slower, because the status is just ridiculous. But hey, at least I can show off this now. As you can see, the enemy turned into a ghost, and he will fight for me, and he's gone now. <laughs> Just like my dad. To give a better example of the ghost mode, we're gonna kill with this guy right here. As you can see, they're gonna start attacking that little ghost. Aw, oh, poor guy. Well, he's gone now. <laughs> there we go. I'll, sh I'll show you this again. It's a cool feature. I think I like it. I think that it's good. It can be helpful. Uh, good for crowd control. Just shoot an enemy in a the crowd. They'll start going crazy after that little ghost, and then they're gone. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think that it's a quirky little feature that does add a little versatility to the weapon. Makes it unique. It's like next it's like Necros with extra steps and you can make little troops and they can like run with you. And look at that. And they're purple. Hey yo. Ooh, look at that corrosive. Oh man. Look at that. That is some pretty damn good damage. I'm not I'm not gonna lie. Oh there he goes! Fly away, Miss Poppins. Get, goodbye. He's still going. He's still go Okay. So, overall, the Ballistica Prime is a pretty damn solid weapon. I don't know if it's going to take the cake over the Sycorus Prime. I'm still really enjoying the Sycorus Prime. I think that's probably my most powerful uh, sidearm in the game at the moment. But who knows? Maybe I'll get a uh, Riven Mod for the Ballistica Prime. Probably not. But if I do, I will be definitely making a 2.0 video on this as well. Anyway, thank you guys for watching the video. I'll probably work on a build. And then if I do have a better build, I'll showcase it. But if not, just, you know what? You go out there. You have fun. You build the weapon. And then and then try it out. See what you think. And then, of course, you can make a better build probably than I did, I'm sure. I, I didn't put too much time into mine. I just wanted to kind of have fun with it and see how it went. Thank you for watching, guys. My name is MCIK or Monkataskio or CJ. It's so funny. No one ever recognizes me whenever I'm in game until I actually say MCIK or they ask me. I'm just like, yeah, it's me. And they're like, what? Because like my cat is Keo. It's like, it's a very weird thing to see in game. My cat is, it's irrelevant. Okay. You know what? That's cool. I get it. I'm rambling. All right. You know what? You're still here. You're still watching the video. So what are you doing? Why haven't you just exited off the and watched more of my videos yet?